Hello everyone, this is going to be another StarCraft 2 beta video, and this is going to be themed on the one thing that's been missing from my video set. You may have noticed I've never posted a Terran vs. Terran video yet. And I have a good reason for that, and the reason is I suck at Terran vs. Terran. Um, basically, I can't do the Quick Expand vs. Terran for many reasons I'm sure you can come up with by yourself. And I really never tried to get good at the matchup. I would just kind of throw some cheese out at the Terran, and whether it worked or not, the matchup would be over quickly, and then I can move on to playing you know, an opponent I was more comfortable with i.e. Protoss or Zerg. Now, the problem with me playing this cheese all the time is I never actually learned to get good at the matchup. So, as soon as Phase 2 of the beta comes out, I'm actually going to stop doing the cheese. I'm going to really legitimately try to get better versus Terran. But in the meantime, I figured I may as well share these cheesy strategies that I like to use with you. Um, keep in mind, these will give you some quick wins, and... Uh, They'll be pretty successful, especially against um, lower-end ladder players. Um, but yeah, it really won't help develop your game, so <laughs> you keep that in mind if you're going to be using them. But with that said, I'm going to jump right into the video and hope you enjoy. Thanks, everyone. Okay, that's going to be the first piece of uh, Terran cheese, and it's actually going to be a uh, Banshee Rush strategy. Um, this is an all-in Banshee Rush. You can do variations of it with one star port that transition better into late game. But as I'm just showing cheese, this is going to be a two port Banshee Rush, which is a lot more all-in. Uh, you do get more Banshees quicker, but you kind of have to win the game with it. And this strategy is really not about micro or macro too much. It's mostly just about having Banshees out really fast and having a good build order for it. And first step of that builder is right now. Once your supply reads 9 of 11, you want to queue your command center to the front line. And uh, you will be building a supply depot with this SCV. And you want to keep them near the front line, and you want to hotkey them because you'll be scouting with them later. Yeah, so you'll find the strategy against like gold level and below, you're probably going to win a good 75% of your matches. But once you hit Platinum and Diamond Division, it's really not going to work at all. I mean, it's pretty easy to counter it, and knowledgeable players will be ready for it. So this strategy only gets you so far. But at the same time, it gets you some free wins early on. So I just queued up a scouting route for this SCV there. And you want to keep your SCV production going non-stop at your uh, command center. Um, after you place your barracks, you want to get your first uh, Vespian extractor. Ready. Uh, you want to wall off your front line, not for defensive purposes, mostly to keep the scouts out, so they won't know what you're up to. Once your barracks is done, you want to make a marine and get your orbital. After that, you get your second gas. You'll notice I put three on the Vespians as soon as it's complete as well. And your second supply depot. Upgrade complete. What's going on? At this point, you want to build your factory. SCV ready. Got and another marine. Uh, you try to build your factory kind of hidden in the corner, like out here, out here, this way. If you get uh, scouted, or get, get scanned, I mean, you won't be ready for it. After your second marine's out, though, you want to get a tech lab on your barracks. Uh, this tech lab is going to be used for your starport, so it's good to have it built in advance. Because obviously the key to this strategy is getting Banshees as fast as humanly possible. We hear you. Add on. Complete. 
Point, you'll probably want to get another supply depot. Ready. Also, hawk your starports at this point. And you want to float off the factory because you're going to be using the factory's tech lab for your second starport. And now you can start pumping out your banshees. I like to get two banshees to start and then cloak and then follow up with more banshees. Sure thing. Also probably a good idea for another supply depot at this point. You don't want to get yourself supply capped. SCB ready. There we go. We got two banshees and cloak on the way. This is more or less the strategy you want to use. It's probably a good time to throw down a bunker at your front line gotcha. too. Fourth Marine. I mean, you're going to have extra minerals. Um, you can also start pumping out. Uh, once you're able to, you can get a command center. In the rear with the gear. Maybe take an island expansion since you're going um, this be good. Banshees. I got this. And in terms of attacking, you just kind of want to take up the, uh, the supply line. Uh, your targets really should be SCVs, Marines, uh, maybe taking out a starport if he has one that's not complete. Yeah, that's more or less a strategy. Um, just try to micro your Banshees to keep them alive. If you get attacked, run away because you do have Cloak coming 